Uh, hey, hey, hey. All right, ready? Okay. Today we're going to talk about the power of a portrait. This video would have to be about nine hours long to really describe everything that goes into a portrait. Any great portrait is about emotion. Perfect. Very easy to take a normal picture of someone's face, but to create an emotional portrait of someone, those are two completely different things. So when someone comes over, the first thing we do is we sit down and we talk. From sitting down and talking, to the wardrobe, to the makeup, to the hair, to the music, are we going outside, are we shooting inside? Everything has to line up to get the shot that you want to get. And can you move back this way just a tiny bit? Whole body, just a touch, too much, too much, just a tiny bit, right there, right there. That's it, that's it, very good. Hands flat, arch the back just a tiny bit. Hold there, Gary. Perfect. One of the things that I love about portraits and shooting portraits with people is it is the best way to find out someone's real ability. I'll do these big shoots like the Marie Antoinette shoot or the Pan Am shoot or any of these big kind of big scale shoots. Will just use people that I have already shot portraits of. Shooting a portrait of someone really tells me everything that they're capable of. Greatest casting process you could ever have. It's one of the biggest problems people have with taking portraits is lack of direction. You have to tell the person every single thing, every little moment. Where's their foot? Where's their finger? Even things that are not in the photograph, you have to be in control of everything. You have to help them. When you're photographing someone, they are giving themselves to you completely. So every aspect of every moment of them, every hair follicle, everything is under your control. And if you're taking portraits of someone and there's ever a moment where you're like, um, uh, could you, um, uh, just maybe, I don't know, what do you think? You're done. You've lost it. And it's not that you need to rule like a dictator, but you have to be in control. For any photographer out there, if, if you want to shoot portraits, this is, this is something that I've learned over time and I've talked to a lot of my photographer friends about this. Obviously, you shoot a portrait of somebody, you want to make them look good. But sometimes the real portrait is honest, it's dirty, it's mean, and the person in it is going to hate it. And if they get your art and if they get what you're about and they get what you're doing, then they'll understand the beauty of it really got to break people down. You've got to let them open up and you've got to make them feel comfortable. And when someone's comfortable, they'll tell you their whole life story without saying a word. One of the absolute hardest things of photography is to get a real iconic portrait of someone. The, the thing about shooting a portrait is it is the simplest, easiest looking thing to do that could not be harder. Everyone thinks, oh yeah, you just, you know, you just get a person with a pretty face and you take a picture of them. But to, to get a portrait that someone will put on a gallery, put in a museum, or put in their home, it's one of the hardest things to do. For me, the less people I have around, the better it is when you're just focusing on a portrait. I absolutely love portraits because they kind of drive you insane, like you never, you just keep chasing it. You're never going to get that perfect portrait, but you keep trying over and over and over again. And that's the definition of insanity. Uh, Careful of the bee. We're good. I'm going to take good. this wig off you. Okay. You know, these don't stain royalty, so we're good. Oh my God. Stay my head's still dry. Wow. 